welcome this afternoon at 5, 5 p.m., 5 o'clock rock, we're doing community matters. And that means we're talking about the Boy Scouts, the Aloha Council. Kimi Takazawa runs the place. Hi, Kimi. <laughs> <laughs> Director Philanthropy, that's all. <laughs> all right, well, a little of that. Okay, we have a special guest. We have Bill Wilson from Hawaiian uh, Dredging, uh, one of the guys who built the state and who is going to be honored soon enough on, mm, it's coming soon, August 25th at the Sheraton Waikiki. Um, he is going to be Hawaii's Distinguished Citizen. He's going to get the Distinguished Citizen Award. Welcome to the show, Bill. Thank you very much, Jay. Thanks for Great coming to be down here. today. Thank you. And uh, Jason, Jason Kimura. Jason is, uh, just recently uh, became an Eagle Scout. Uh, congratulations, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming down today. Thank you for having us. So uh, let's start with you, Jason. What does it mean to be an Eagle Scout? What did you have to do to get all those badges? What did you have to do to, you know, become, you know, the, the highest rank of Scout there is, uh, Scout Eagle Scout? So, you know, Scouting is, it's a journey. Um, started from first grade, Cub Scouting, and then fifth grade we go to Boy Scouts. And the last seven years we've learned skills, Boy Scout skills, first aid, knot tying, building fires, using our knives, survival skills and whatnot. But um, the friendships are the guy, like my friends, they're the ones who help me pull it through, um, help me finish my Eagle Scout, and you know, it's, it's, a great, it's a great opportunity that I had, and I'm, a, I'm happy I accomplished it. Well, you've been involved in various organizations that make friends. One, Midpac, you know, you've been going there for a long time. Um, and you've been on a couple of teams at Midpac. Mm -hmm. What basketball and oh, basketball and baseball. Baseball. Yeah. So you have two teams you've been working with, and you got friends on both teams. But the Boy Scouts takes you further, right? Oh it's yeah. In addition to all of that, you're making friends with the boy. How does that work? So you know these guys. Um, they're they're like my brothers. We've been together since first grade. Five five of them my age. We've been together the whole time. And it's like their parents, they kind of take me under their wing like I'm their own son. So, and it makes it that much better, you know, and our leaders there. So they take the time out of their busy lives to help us on consistent Friday nights, you know. And it, it really means a lot to me and it means a lot to them too. So it's just, a, it's a good time. You're an incoming... I'm going to be a senior. You're going to be a senior. You're going to graduate. Like, yeah. You got a plan yet? Go to college. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's as far as it goes right now. Okay, all right. Now tell us about the merit badges you're showing over your right shoulder. Uh, tell us about the ones you really care about. Well, the ones I really care about? Um, tell so, me you care about them all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, I did these merit badges for a reason. Um, I mean, some are required, but they, they help me open up to what real life situations could be. Mm -hmm. um, personal management, how to manage your money, manage your time, do chores or whatever, family life, how to deal with your family. Um, you know, I could use some of those too. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, al it's always good, you know, life-saving. Um, I'm a certified BSA lifeguard, American Red Cross lifeguard. Oh. So that, that's all cool to me, and it helps me become the person that who I am right now, you know. It's just... What a nice boy. So, Kimi, tell, yes. us, tell us more about Jason. Tell us more about the Eagle Scout program. Sure. So, um, Jason, not only um, is he, he just made his rank of Eagle Scout, but um, at our Eagle um, Scout Banquet, which was held um, this past April, we have a scholarship. And so he's an awardee of a $1,000 um, uh, Fred Trotter Scholarship, um, which was actually um, one of his mentors there was uh, Reese Liggett. So we have to say thank you. He's also an Eagle Scout, and he ha actually helped sponsor that portion of that. And they, it was great because the night of the Eagle Scout dinner, because um, they were kind of paired together, and Reese is also the one who gave him the, the award. They sat together. I hope you guys had a nice chat. Oh, yeah, And it was, it was great. just great for him to it was kind great. of like network, like in a more adult way with um, adult leadership. So mm -hmm. it was terrific. And he also, um, you know, we also explained how um, he is an athlete and also I can tell. I'm looking well. at, a, at a resume which includes a, a GPA of 3.5 at all those teams. Yep. How do you do? Do you sleep at night? I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have to give it to my parents. Um, when I was younger, I couldn't drive, so they they were the ones who brought me to practices, brought me to scouts every night or every week. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have those kind of you know that history of sports and scouting mm -hmm. at the same time. And I just appreciate them a lot. Yeah. 
And Jason, he's a really perfect example of, you know, a lot of times people say, I have to do sports, so I have to drop out, or, you know, there's a mix. But he's an example of you can do it all. Like, not only has a great GPA, his leadership skills, he's involved in two sports, you know, varsity basketball. He made his Eagle Scout. He had leadership opportunities in the scouting program. And, you know, there's a, there was a... Um, a survey done and it's found that the kids who are in scouting actually were more participatory in a multi variety of activities than non scouts. So you can do it all and Jason's a great example of someone who, who did it. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you're on the way. Mm -hmm. you know, <clears throat> if you ever want to be a, a, a think tech intern, you let oh, me yeah. know. <laughs> I'll show you everything about, uh, we'll think you know, about it. video think about and whatnot. <laughs> think about it. Yeah. All right. Well, okay, let's uh, shift gears for a minute. Mm -hmm. Bill, it's so nice to have you here. Bill Wilson, oh. Hawaiian Dredging. Uh, great to be here. Great to, great to have you. Uh, so let's talk for a little bit about uh, Hawaiian Dredging and your career there. Mm -hmm. Well, I, uh, Hawaiian Dredging uh, was founded in 1902, and so we've been around for 114 years. Uh, and uh, through all of that, we're therefore the oldest, uh, who for many years now have been the largest general contractor in the state of Hawaii. Uh, we're also the most diversified. We do the widest range of work. Mm -hmm. And so you can see that in the, a bit of the design and the program that we've developed for coming up on the 25th, where we feature the buildings. Uh, we've built uh, more hotels, uh, more residential condominiums uh, than any other contractor in the state. But we also do a great deal of the road work, whether it's the H3 or the H2 or the H1 or mm -hmm. uh, major roads on the neighbor islands as well. So we're uh, very active in doing that. Uh, What's some, the secret sauce over there? Well, we've got one heck of a lot of people uh, <laughs> that know what they're doing okay. and do the wide range of work that we do. Uh, but in anything that you do in the state of Hawaii, it's the people that you have relationships with, that you do business with. And as a general contractor, we're very dependent on the capabilities and the success of our subcontractors and suppliers uh, to execute the work, uh, but certainly also owners and developers, uh, designers that help create the projects uh, that help make Hawaii a better state. Never let it be said that general contracting is easy. It's not. Uh, I, I would never say that okay. it is. <laughs> I, I'm confident that most people in the public don't understand the risks associated with what yeah. we need to do, what we do do, uh, as well as um, you know the challenges that come with it. Yeah. And as you said, it's all a matter of relationships. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a common common thread there between the two of you. Yeah. Well, there certainly is. Uh, you know, uh, for many years, uh, the company has hired people with. Eagle Scout and Boy Scout backgrounds right? uh, throughout. Um, that certainly started long before I was there, uh, given our history in the state. Uh, but we've certainly continued that through the years. And so uh, for most of the times, we have about 12 to 15 Eagle Scouts that are part of our salaried workforce. So that's uh, one in 20 of our salaried employees uh, statewide have, were Eagle Scouts. Are, and of course, once you're an Eagle Scout, um, you're always, always an Eagle, Eagle Scout. Scout. Yeah, well, once you're a Think Tech intern, you're always a Think Tech intern. <laughs> <laughs> that may not be as widely appreciated as an Eagle Scout. We've got to get the word out. But, but if you don't start <laughs> with this program, it won't happen, Jay. <laughs> so how did you get involved in Hawaiian dredging? What, what, uh, what training, what experience did you have when you finally uh, joined okay. it? 1974. Uh, and I've uh, been with the company for 42 years, so Hawaiian Dredging and its affiliated companies. Originally joined uh, Dillon M Corporation. Uh, which was then the parent. Uh, certainly the Dillingham family started that, started Hawaiian dredging many years ago. Uh, originally, I um, have an undergraduate degree in civil engineering, a master's in business. I uh, was offered a job in Honolulu. Uh, my wife, who I just married uh, the year before, was uh, from Honolulu. Uh, we were met with her undergraduates, and uh, so I threw my life away and moved to Honolulu. Uh, and. Uh, it's uh, never looked back. It's been a wonderful yeah, experience. Yeah, what an what an experience, really. I mean, yeah. we, we we can't we can't forget that Hawaiian dredging has built the state, has been involved, you know, with all those relationships and projects, all that diversity of projects. You have built the state. We look around, you know, look down from fifty thousand feet, we will see Hawaiian dredging hither and yon everywhere. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and of course How do you our, feel about that? Well, it, it's a source of pride mm -hmm. uh, for everybody in the organization. Uh, all of us that have joined it, you know, joined it well since it was founded. But, uh, you know, it's a great legacy that we've inherited. Uh, and everyone that's there works you know, diligently every day to maintain that. Uh, you know, one of the things that people always talk about is, you know, being number one. Uh, I can assure you that continuing to be number one for years is even harder. 
And when you look at what occurs in other walks of life, that's uh, very challenging. You know, Let's look at some photos about Hawaiian dredging. What do we got here? We're going to see some of the projects now. Oh, wow. Oh, we were the original contractor for uh, the Aloha Stadium uh, in the 1970s. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, wow. This is a picture of the Alawai Canal. Mm -hmm. And so in the 1920s, uh, <laughs> we dredged the Alawai Canal. Obviously, our name uh, with dredging in it implies we're a dredging contractor. It's always fun today to explain to people that we don't, haven't done that for 50 years. <laughs> yeah. That's what we used to do uh, and other items. Uh, this is a picture of one of the dry docks at Pearl Harbor. Uh, that would have been one of the major projects uh, early in the company's uh, activities many years ago. Yeah. Uh, this is the Ala Moana Shopping oh, Center. Oh, wow, yeah. Uh, it Great. was developed uh, by the land arm of Dillingham in it the looks 1950s. So small. It was the Sears side, uh, so yeah. that would have been it appears right after it was open in the late 1950s. Uh, and we've been involved in all of the expansions of that uh, through the years today. Uh, and one of our major projects that we finished last year was the uh, expansion. Uh, which everyone is now enjoying with uh, the new Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, and Sears is gone today from the center, yeah. but it was uh, the center, the store that uh, really allowed the center to go forward yeah. At, yeah. at the time it was developed. Are you involved in the condos that are going on the Mackay side? Uh, no, we're not. Uh, that's uh, another contractor's doing that work. Uh, we did some of the foundation work there, uh, but uh, others, you know, and we Goodness. do foundation work for other general contractors. Mm -hmm. and, so while we are the state's largest general contractor, we also work for all the other general contractors yeah. when they need a foundation yeah. subcontractor. And although you're the largest uh, contractor in the state, you are not actually the only contractor. In the no, state. we are. There, there are more of them. <laughs> there are, there are of us. <laughs> yeah, the other people. Uh, this is a picture of the Aulani Resort that we uh, did uh, in 2009 through 2011 for the Disney people. Uh -huh. uh, and so Beautiful we're very proud project. to be part of that. Yeah. It was a major project uh, yeah. and the largest uh, single project ever built in the state of Hawaii. Huge. Yeah. Uh, and uh, let's see. The, this we is the John Byrne School. School of Medicine. Uh, we did that. Uh, uh, in joint venture with Kajima Corporation beginning in 2002 with the completion in 2005. Um, we were awarded that project on the 100th anniversary of the founding of Hawaiian dredging. Wow. Uh, and when I say that, not just the year, but the day of the year. Uh, uh, March 3 is a day that, that we do celebrate. <laughs> I, I can see you talking to the university and say, hold up one more day. We want to wait for our 100th anniversary <laughs> tomorrow. Well, they, they actually set the date. Okay. And so we, we thought it was a very good date and auspicious date. <laughs> Wonderful. Absolutely. We have other pictures, too, of the Boy Scouts. Maybe you want to take a moment and look at them. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, what is yes. that, Kimi? What is that? Go ahead, Jason. This is a Saturday, actually. So this, this past Saturday um, was our Eagle Court of Honor, where we get honored for our achieving the Eagle Scout rank, and I'm in the middle with two of my buddies who got the Eagle Scout with me, and all the other guys are assistant scout masters, so our mentors, um, our adult leaders who helped us get to that point, and as you can see, there's a lot of them, and it shows a lot of, there's a lot of commitment in that picture. That's A lot of people supporting you yeah. there. Oh yeah. yeah. The and we have one more too. Ah, there you are, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Do you want to see where, where your troop is from, Chartered? So, um, we're Troop 49, chartered out of uh, Hompa Honganji, Hawaii Betsuin on Pali Highway. And we're, um, we're lucky to have this uh, venue for us because we give back to the temple um, by running the bull and dance every year, their spring so bazaar fun. every year. And it, it gives us opportunity for leadership when we run those. And it's just a... See how happy we are. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> this is taken at the Hampa Hawanji? Yes, okay. it, it was. We're going to take a short break, Jason and Bill and Kimi. Okay. And uh, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about uh, your affair on August 25th and how you feel about that, okay? We're going to explore what's going to happen. We're going to try to be with you in advance. We'll be right back. Aloha, I'm Kirsten Baumgart-Turner, host of Sustainable Hawaii. Thanks for watching Think Tech this summer. We have a lot of terrific shows of great importance, and I hope you'll watch my show too every Tuesday at noon as we address sustainability issues for Hawaii. They're really pertinent as the World Conservation Congress approaches in September and the World Youth Congress that's focusing on sustainability next year as well. Have a great summer and tune in at noon every Tuesday. Aloha, my name is Carl Campagna and I'm the host 
of Think Tech Hawaii's education movers, shakers, and reformers. I invite you to come watch our show on thinktechhawaii.com. You can also see our shows on YouTube as well. You can Google search those. I appreciate the time. I hope that you do join us as we learn about education, about the educational system here in Hawaii, what the challenges are, what the benefits are, and how much our kids are learning. So thank you. I hope you join us. We're back. We're live with uh, Jason Kimura, recent Eagle Scout, Bill Wilson, uh, CEO of Hawaiian Dredging since 1970. Well, not, not <laughs> since. <laughs> now, that would be something. <laughs> but he's been with Hawaiian Dredging since uh, 1974. And Kimi Takazawa, who is the leader of the leaders, may I say. <laughs> sure. <laughs> At the Aloha Council. <laughs> Thank you. So now Bill is going to have this fabulous yes. thing. You know, it's, like, it's the kind of experience, Bill, I'm sure you'll never forget. It really is special. And if you look through the, uh, gee whiz, um, the, you know, the past honorees, I, I, we don't have time in this show to read them all, but they are really amazing, an amazing group of people starting in uh, 1974, no, <laughs> um, uh, 1983 mm -hmm. coming forward. They yep. are the leaders of the community for sure. Yes, for so sure. you selected Bill. What's mm -hmm. the process? Um, so um, the process is, so first of all, our Distinguished Citizen Dinner has been around. This is actually our 34th year. So thank you, Bill, for agreeing to be our honoree. And the process actually takes about a year in advance to plan. So we have like a list and we kind of go over it. So as you can tell, um, a lot of the people who we've honored, they come from all different sectors of, of, of Hawaii in our community. Um, so this year we had, you know, try to see like what kind of outstanding industries kind of like popped up or have kind of like the top of the headlines and who, could carry like enough clout and who actually also was very involved with this community service as well that we could honor and who also kind of upholds um, some of the scout oath and law and their values and the way they conduct themselves for business and Bill's name bubbled up and um, so we decided to ask him and we're just the whole process with him and his team has just been very so enjoyable and so like on target I think it's because you guys are contractors. <laughs> Everything has like timeline, deadline. So um, that's why we chose Bill. And it's just been really wonderful, really, just to say thank you. Your team has been terrific to work thank you. with. I have to do a shout out to Paolo and Richard and to Eric and Sheila. Yep. So tell them thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. So um, it's going to be Thursday um, in a couple of weeks at the Sheraton. And so typically these things, the Distinguished Citizens Dinner, we have probably about 800 people in attendance. And what's really great about it is that it's not just, um, well, it's a party. And so in the beginning, um, there's so many people from downtown who show up that it's not a din, it's a roar of people talking and networking. And, you know, these are all supporters of Boy Scouts. They're all, you know, people steeped in business and from downtown. And it's actually, they're kind of rowdy and it's kind of hard to get them to settle down. <laughs> because they're having fun. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, um, so uh, yeah. So, yes. so is there room left? I mean, if anybody wanted to sign up, where would they go? Sure, so we always have Rome. Um, they can uh, go onto our website um, and they can email, email us as well, uh, info at um, aloacouncilbsa.org, and um, we can go ahead and send them like information on that, and we'd love for them to come and join us and to celebrate um, Bill Wilson and the Boy Scouts. Oh, that's great. Yeah, one really fun piece is that we have about like 50 to 70 Boy Scouts come, and they shake hands with everybody um, who's attending, and it's really a great way for them to say thank you uh, for it's their It's the yin and the yang. Yep. It's, it's the, the guys who've been through it. Yes. And I can only read some of them. Just I <laughs> okay. mean, I, and I'm not favoring anyone over anyone else. But again, I'm not going to read them all. Yeah. Uh, Maurice Sullivan. Hmm. Uh, Jim Gary. Chin Ho. Mm -hmm. uh, Bobby Pfeiffer. John Bellinger. Oh. Dan Inoue. Frank Minot. I mean, wow. Uh, Spark Matsunaga. John Waihei, one of our hosts. Mm -hmm. um, Frank Fossey. Howard Stevenson. Senator Cock. Wow. It goes on and on. Ben Caetano, Walter Dodds, oh. I know. <laughs> Warren Haruki, Vicky Caetano, um, gee, you got two Caetanos yeah. there. Uh, Alan Doan of A&B, mm. Mike May, Mike Fish from the newspaper, the uh, Honolulu Advertiser, uh -huh. Governor Linda Lingle, mm -hmm. Chuck Stead, that goes on, mm -hmm. uh, Mufi Hanneman, um, Chat Wright, HPU, Peter Ho, Bank of Hawaii, everybody, they're all yes. here. It's, it's, uh, so how do you feel about this? Well, when you uh, see that list, and I've had the privilege of attending some of the dinners through the years, uh, it's really the who's who of who's been in Hawaii. Um, and so the question of, you know, how do they decide this was a good one? <laughs> I'm never quite sure. Uh, 
Uh, but uh, you know, our our industry hasn't been one that's mm -hmm. been as recognized. You mentioned some of the developers uh, that have helped you know, develop the work, and some of which we've had the privilege of building. Uh, but no, the industry as a whole has not. And today there are 40,000 people working in the construction industry wow. in the state of Hawaii. Uh, it is a high level compared to you know, not as high as in, sometimes in the past, but a very good level. Mm -hmm. And so uh, to be selected uh, to represent not just our company, but also to a degree the industry, uh, it's a privilege, it's an honor, and it's certainly humbling as well. Yeah. The history of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's to respect not only... You know, I, I mean, I think a, a contracting company that's been around as long as you have and that's done so many projects in a state where it's, it's difficult to do projects, you know, it's not easy around here. Um, it's, it's, to me, I distinguish yeah, between right. two kinds of people in the world, mm -hmm. and you can listen. <laughs> One is the people who follow through, mm -hmm. the, the, and the other is the other people. <laughs> <laughs> Good advice. So, <laughs> follow through others. <laughs> and you have to follow through through thick and thin. Yeah. Yeah. It, um, it's easy to do things when things are well, and the, the difficulty is through the ups and downs. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the real challenges of the construction industry in Hawaii is that it, there are ups and downs. There are peaks and valleys. And that's what makes it hard on the workers in the industry because of the uncertainty and how many hours they're going to have. Uh, I you know, spent 10 years in the industry from 1992 to 2002 when things were not strong yeah. and everyone was concerned about where their next job was going to come from mm -hmm. and the industry contracted significantly and, uh, and so that's challenging for everybody in the industry yeah. so you appreciate the good times when you do have them or the greater activity uh, there are certainly challenges in those times as well as, uh, as you can read about today in terms of executing the work uh, when resources are limited, particularly the necessary staff to execute the work uh, for contractors and owners, and uh, so that. Uh, but again, uh, you, you, you want to hold up your calendar? Persevere? Sure. Well, That's for many fun. years, uh, it, one of the advertising things that we do is put together a tide calendar, mm -hmm. so people throughout the state know what the tides are. It's uh, certainly part of our the history. The tides I mean, in business or in the tides, the tides in the water. Okay. And so the fishermen and the surfers of the world of Hawaii look forward to getting our calendar I have it on good authority it's the most accurate tide calendar published there are others who pretend they make them uh, but I'm told <laughs> our, our, ours is better uh, so uh, it helps them do that but it also features the many projects and uh, you know this year and the uh, last couple of years because a number of our projects go over a number of years I mentioned Ala Moana uh, but we're finishing uh, in two months both the 801 phase B yeah. as well as the collection uh, both of those are topped off and are in their final finishing stages, uh, but we're also uh, starting other work. Uh, we have a rental car facility for the state on Maui, uh, which is uh, the largest single project underway in the state, uh, but we're also doing a timeshare project for the Vistana folks, uh, formerly known as Starwood, mm -hmm. at uh, Kanapali, and that's a major project as well. So uh, busy on, on Maui and as well as the Big Island currently. What I like about this whole thing with the Aloha Council and about the program on August 25th and about this show. It's the yin and yang. It's the, the people who have, you know, been in leadership positions mm -hmm. and have demonstrated great skills and talent and leadership, which Hawaii needs. We need that. It's really important. And we need more of it going forward. We need young millennials, too, to stay around and become the leaders of the future because yeah. he's not going to last forever. I'm sorry I said that. <laughs> <laughs> And there are many people who say that's a good thing. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you capture that yeah. when you have Bill sitting on the one side and Jason on the other yeah. side, and they're comparing notes, and Jason has this exquisite opportunity to see real leaders in mm -hmm. action rub, sh rub shoulders with you. <laughs> okay, see, I told you. How does it feel, huh? That's great. <laughs> so it's, it's really brilliant that the Boy Scouts yeah. uh, do this. So a uh, question, I know you're going to be making remarks there, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping that you'll make just a, a precis of those remarks for us. Why don't you face camera, let's see, um, uh, Vivian, uh, Vivian, <laughs> Vivian is that one over there. And uh, if you could just yeah. talk to Vivian as if it were the 800 people, into the valley of the 800 people. <laughs> well, if I do that too well, they won't, have, they won't come that night. Uh, so I've got to leave the, the best part Understood. out, Jay. So, Understood. so you're talking about a teaser to get people to come. Uh, well, certainly we've already covered a couple of things that I'm going to address a little bit. Uh, 
I think the other part of it uh, is to thank the people throughout the industry that have made it possible for us to be successful. Mm -hmm. uh, but also talk a little bit about uh, some of the other activities that have been in through the years uh, and the effort to be sure that the community gets the support it needs uh, to, to do the right things. Uh, part of the theme is uh, building dreams and uh, contractors don't decide what's built. Uh, owners, developers, uh, whether it's government or private entities, decide what's built. And then it's up to the contractor to figure out how to do it uh, for less money and quicker uh, than anybody thinks is humanly possible. Uh, it's the challenge that we face, uh, but it's what we grow up to do. And either we know how to do it or we'll figure out how to do it in the time frame we've got uh, <laughs> is, is the simple answer. You know, there, there's a more glorious okay, path to that. But, uh, and, uh, but again, no, couldn't do it without all the people that we work with all the time. Uh, and uh, we all take a great deal of pride, all of us, not just the Hawaiian dredging folks, and, and helping make Hawaii what it is today and to continue to be the best it can be in the future. Now, I don't know if you're going to uh, address Jason in uh, the program on August 25th, but maybe you could take a moment and address him now and tell him what your advice is to him. He's a senior. He's got many years to explore his Whoa. leadership capability. <laughs> Uh, well, Jason, I have three daughters, so uh, I, I, I don't give advice to young men too very often. <laughs> I've got three son-in-laws, but they're, they're smart enough to marry my, our daughters. Uh, but uh, with that, uh, obviously, you've, you've learned a great deal. You've accomplished a great deal. Uh, and so I think the key thing is to figure out what it is you want to continue to do uh, in life. Uh, make sure it's something that you have a passion to do, that you're going to love to do. Um, you can make your way in whatever you choose to do. Uh, and uh, I think as you do that, just remember what you've already learned as a Cub Scout, in terms of Cub Scout, Boy Scout, as well as an Eagle Scout, in terms of the leadership and the character that you've demonstrated. It's that character which will carry you through uh, whatever you choose to do in the many years ahead. Sounds good. Wonderful. Thank you. And touching. That's Thank really you nice. very much. Kimi, I'm going to let you close. Okay. What's it all about? Give us, a, give us your thoughts about this discussion, about sure. the program on August 25th, and about the notion of bringing them together to bridge the gap. Um, you know, we're so um, lucky at Aloha Council that the Hawaii community has supported the scouting um, since 1910, since we've been around. So, um, you know, this event is a huge one for us. Uh, we raise over half a million dollars. Um, and it's always been so, so successful. And it's because of leaders like Bill, who has kind of put themselves out there to be the honoree. And not only that, but it also has to do with the 12,000 kids that this program support, because it's so important that um, scouting stays alive, especially now in this time of kind of uncertainty, um, that you know, our program, I feel really, I'm a total believer um, that this program really um, builds the values um, and the substance um, for these young boys and girls to the kind of uh, citizens that we want to have both in Hawaii and in the world. So thank you again, Bill. And Jason, thank you so much for sticking it through and becoming Eagle Scout. You're a great example, so thank you very much. You're going to be there, Jason, on August 25th? I believe I will be. <laughs> okay. And you're going to, you're going to see this unfolding, the whole, all the notion of leadership and the history of the Boy Scouts and the history of leadership within the Boy Scouts. So, no pressure. <laughs> you already have the Eagle Scout designation. It's okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Bill. Thank, Thank you, Kiwi. Thanks, It's been great to talk to you guys.